Hi viewers, this is Jay Swami, Assistant Professor of Zoology. Today we are going to discuss the fishing crafts and gears from the aquatic biology. Under this topic, we are going to discuss the introductory part of the crafts and gears, inland fishing crafts, sea fishing crafts, mechanized crafts, fishing gears and out of that traditional methods and the conventional methods. See here, fishes are captured from natural resources like the sea, lakes, reservoirs, ponds, rivers, streams, etc. using different crafts and gears. There are two main types of devices used to capture the fishes. One is the craft, another one is the gear. In the background image, we are visualizing a small boat, otherwise a vehicle which is used for the transportation into the fish lands and in order to reach the fish land, they utilize small boat like structures or any vehicle and also after capturing the fish, in order to reach the seashore, otherwise the land area, we will utilize certain vehicles. All these vehicles which are used for the fishing, they are known as the crafts. And the instruments which are used for the capturing of the fish, they are the gears. Crafts, the vessels used for the transport and collecting fish that is termed as the fish craft. Whether as the gears, the instruments which are used for capturing of the fish, they are the gears. Right? See, let us discuss the crafts. So, the vessels which are used for the transport and collecting fish, they are known as the craft. Different varieties of crafts are used both in freshwater and as well as the marine water bodies to capture the fish. The fishing crafts are very essential for catching the fish in large scale in the water bodies. As we know, a large variety of crafts usually boats have been designed for marine and the inland fishing in India. Fishing craft is used by the fishermen in larger water bodies such as seas, large rivers and reservoirs to reach the areas where fish are available and to operate the nets for capturing of the fish. The fishing boats are useful to reach the fishing grounds to harvest the fish and transport them back to shore for marketing and processing. Fishing crafts are broadly categorized under traditional and as well as the mechanized fishing crafts. Traditionally, fishermen use the boats and rafts for fishing by rowing it manually or by the operation of the sail for propulsion of the boat by wind to reach the fishing ground. These are referred to as the artisanal or traditional fishing craft. And the fishing crafts are somewhat different which are used in inland water bodies and the sea water bodies. Let us see the fishing crafts which are used in inland waters. So inland waters refers to the rivers, ponds, lakes and the reservoirs etc. So in these inland waters we will use different types of crafts naturally raft, dugout canoe, small boats and the large boats. Let us see one by one the fishing crafts of the inland waters. See here we are visualizing a diagram that is the raft. This is the simplest and most primitive type of craft used for fishing on inland waters. Literally what is a raft means a more or less rigid floating platform made of buoyant material made of buoyant material what is the meaning of buoyant that is the material which is uh, easily floatable visually wooden logs planks 
casks etc they are bounded together for floating on water in some of the areas if you observe the uh, in india south india especially kaveri river and in the tungabhadra river there is a uh, instrument which is used known as the round structure circular structure which is known as the coracle so this is the coracle a circular and bigger raft called coracle is much in use in south india especially in kaveri and tungabhadra rivers it is a shallow cylindrical frame of wicker work the uh, diameter may be 1.5 meters 1.5 meters in diameter at the periphery the sides were cohered firmly stretched and tied so if you observe the work here so they were tied tightly this is the coracle comes under the raft and coming to the dugout canoe so this is the dugout canoe where it is also a primitive type of craft it is also known as the donga it is also known as the donga made by hollowing the large logs especially from the palmira palm palmira palm take out the logs from the palmira palm and dug them out make the hole a simple type of fishing craft for fishing within short distances from the coastal area it is very really small sized canoe made by the scooping of logs of wood in the form of a boat it is also known as odams in some areas thonis in some other areas and wenches these are also these are the other names of the dugout canoes so they were usually used in the southeast and southwest coasts of india they are under dugout canoe they comes under the category of dugout canoe so in calm water oars may be enough here we are use, uh, seeing the oars these are enough for propulsion but if winds and currents prevail then that should be a propulsion should be made by the usage of motors so this is the dugout canoe take a log and dug out the entire material okay and prepare a canoe that is the dugout canoe and coming to the third type of uh, fishing crafts in the inland area they are the boats boats are again two types based on their size small boats and the large boats here we are seeing the small boats and also commonly called as the plank built boats these are locally called as dinghies these are locally called as dinghies right and they are extensively used in the rivers and estuaries for operating purse nets and the dip nets these boats are used to operate the purse nets and dip nets they were operated by using the small boats so they have narrow tapering bows and stems but have no keel the size may be the dimensions may be 6 meters into 1.5 meters into 0.45 meters 0.45 meters are the dimensions of the small boats dimensions of the small boats coming to the large boats so the large boats the dimensions may be 18 meters into 3 meters dimension these boats may be flat bottomed or keeled and they are used for operating gill nets these large boats are used for the operate operating operation of gill nets otherwise the dip nets and the large size nets which are commonly called as a mahajal large size nets also uh, large size drag nets also they are operated by using the large boats so the raft coracle dugout canoes 
small boats large boats they are extensively used in the inland waters and if you come to the uh, crafts which are used in the sea water sea fishing crafts namely catamarans boats and the canoes the names are more or less equal as far as the names of the crafts used in the seas are concerned they do not vary too much from those used in the inland waters the names like large ships or trawlers may be added to them they do vary according to the physiography or topographical features along the east and west coasts of india different types of fishing crafts are uh, used in the sea water namely catamarans board bo boats and the canoes apart from the boats non rigid muscular type and the carvel boats boats are extensively used in the sea waters let us see one by one this is the catamarans this is the catamaran this is a keelless raft formed by rigging together several logs of about 3 to 7 log pieces they are rigged together to form a catamaran and these logs are curved in shape and they made to form they rigged to form a cano like structure which is known as the catamaran posterior end of the catamaran posterior end of the catamaran is cone shaped projects above the water and used for operating the rudder the catamarans vary in designs in different parts and there are four types of catamarans are usually uh, seen they are orissa type four types of catamarans are commonly used orissa type andhra type coromandel type and the boat catamarans boat type catamarans these are the four types of catamarans usually seen orissa type andhra type coromandel type and the boat catamarans boat shaped made up of three logs these are the catamarans which are used in the oceans and coming to the boats usually there are two kinds of boats non rigid masula type of boat it is uh, the length of the masula type boat may be uh, 9 meters made up of planks that is what is the plank is a wooden piece wooden log otherwise a plot piece of the timber it is thicker than the broad and they are fastened or sewn together by coir pipe without frames or ribs so as to withstand severe surfs if there are severe surfs it is easily tolerated this is a masula type of boat and coming to the second one caravel or carvel boats these boats have a hull whose shell is formed of planking or plating on which each strake overlaps the next one below and is overlapped by the next one above otherwise the plating laid close together on the frames so as to present a smoother exterior smoother exterior when compared to the normal masula type of boat these are called as a carvel boats they are called as a carvel boats and the third type of instruments other vehicles are the canoes only so various types of canoes have been found and they will be used in the different parts of the country generally dugout canoes already we discussed which are used in the inland waters okay plank built canoes like the catamarans and outrigger canoes so here there is a another log which is attached to the cano then come into the mechanized boats otherwise a mechanized crafts what are the mechanized crafts to enhance the rate of fishing fish landings some fishing crafts are installed with engines for propulsion and to use mechanical devices for handling fish gears this is referred to as the mechanization of crafts generally large sized boats usually uh, the examples are tutti corin type of boats these are the tutti corin type and machwa type of boats and satpati type of boats these are the three kinds of uh, boats 
which are crafts which are usually easily to be motorized or mechanized right so tutti corn type tutti corn type machwa type and the satpadi type of mechanized crafts are usually found mechanization of boats has also been done for inland fishing particularly in large rivers like the ganges brahmaputra and the hugli krishna godavari and mahanadi etc generally the cftri the central fisheries technological research institute cochin uh, is a government of india establishment institution looking for the improvement and mechanization aspects of the gears and crafts so as to ensure better commercial fishery prospects so these are the mechanized uh, type of boats and coming to the second part this is a fishing gear what are the fishing gears the devices used for the catching of fish so there is various types of nets traps hooks and lines they are termed as the fishing gear almost any equipment which is used for fishing can be called as the fishing tackle that is the best examples are the hooks lines sinkers floats rods reels baits lines spears nets traps waders and the tackle boxes gear that is attached to the end of your fishing line is called as the terminal tackle various designs and sizes of nets are used for fishing besides nets hooks and the lines which are employed for catching large fishes so there are uh, different kinds of methods involved in the fishing gear usually traditional methods and the conventional methods apart from the traditional methods which we will see in the village areas that is catching by hand fishes being catched by hand otherwise uh, hunted fishing by hunting see one by one catching by hand this is the simplest method used in shallow waters particularly hill streams shallow channels etc the fishes trapped on the uh, dammed area are then picked up by hand and generally villagers and tribals adapt this uh, tactics to keep small fish as the pickles or consume them whole fried this is catching by hand and fishing by hunting usually the spear was the earliest weapon employed by man and still in use today in many parts of the world this is the uh, spear the instrument is a spear which is used for the hunting so not only the spears besides spears harpoons lance rake and rifles are used to catch large sized fishes this is from the uh, traditional methods catching by hand and fishing by hunting are the traditional methods of capturing of fish whereas there are conventional methods where we will use different kinds of nets so in the conventional methods uh, these methods have recognized by general consent or accepted usage they include various forms of netting operations traps hook and line operations etc a net is a piece of webbing where cotton silk flags flags hemp nylon twines are used to make the meshes of definite size these may be simple interlocking interlacing or not set the point of intersections between twines different types of fishing gears otherwise nets are available in the market usually drag net bag net seines trawls cast net basket traps scoop net or dip net hook and line net gill net or drip net fixed net or stationary net trap net and the gamcha these are the different nets which are used in the conventional methods let us see one by one this is the drag net these nets are operated by dragging using man power otherwise the small or large ships these are large size nets of variable dimensions and mesh sizes as per the requirement of the fisherman and uh, they may be differ based on the water level where actually fishing has to be done and availability of the funds financial 
and manpower etc the maximum height of the net is in the middle region which tapers towards the two arms the mesh size too varies widely being larger at the outer extremity and smaller towards the mid region of the net drag nets are generally two types they may be with packets and without packets so if there is a packet that is called as the cord end so these are the two regions where actually they are dragged by the uh, using manpower or by using the ships this is the drag net which is used capture the fish by dragging the net see here the bag net it is also uh, contain a conical bag net with a square mouth or round mouth is fixed in the water course these bag nets are termed the shore scene nets and are operated in the eastern regions fish moving in the water enter into the square mouth of the net and get caught in the cord end so this is the cord end so that is the cord end never allows the fish to go outside so that is the cord end is with a smaller mesh size periodically fish collected in the cord and are uh, collected by the fisher men this is the bag net looks like a bag and coming to the cns this is a filtering type of gear regarded as to be one of the largest nets for active fishing variously designed scenes are used in lakes rivers and seas some nets may measure 1800 meters length and 12 meters height and 5500 kg weight 5500 kg weight so considering their huge dimensions they must be quite strong and sturdy to resist water currents and weight of fishes captured generally three types of scenes are used they are beach scene ring scene and the purse scene these kinds of scenes are designed to catch pelagic fishes by encircling a school of fish and are operated from a vessel in open water the landing also takes place on the vessel if you observe the three kinds of scenes this is a beach scene followed by a ring scene and purse scene so the term school where we use the term school this kind of scenes are designed to catch pelagic fishes by encircling a school of fish school of fish means the group of fishes which are moving in a specific direction the a group of fishes is known as the school so encircling the school of fish and they capture the uh, fishes capture the fishes by using large scenes okay there are three kinds of scenes they are namely beach scene ring scene and purse scene based upon their shape and coming to the trawl net so these are also filtering type of large sized gears okay so here there are two ends this side one and this side one these two ends are attached to the small boards the boards pull the uh, large nets okay at the bottom we will add the solid substances okay and whereas on the upper region we will uh, use floaters at the bottom we will bind sinkers which touch the floor touch the ground and in order to float up on upper surface we will use the floaters okay and here at the end of this we will have cord and where actually the fish is being captured so we are pulling the net by using trawls vehicles so that it is known as a trawl net they are known as a trawl net the mouth of the net is kept open by two outer borders attached to the wings of the net the head rope has a series of floats attached to it which keep the mouth of the net open the bottom rope is attached with the sinkers which keep the foot rope near to the bottom the trawl net is dragged at a uniform speed by the trawler 
during operation after locating the fish school then it is allowed to be kept at the required depth by adjusting the floats and the sinkers attached to the net the trawl collects the benthic fish present at the bottom the cord end of the net has small size and mesh compared to those in the wings and belly of the net after uh, iterating the net the fish are collected from the cord end and separated into broad groups and stored in the refrigerators right this is the trawls and coming to the cast net this is a trawl net which is pulled over by the trolleys this is the cast net cast nets are used in inland fishing this is a circular mouth or uh, umbrella shaped conical net made up of cotton twine webbing of about 2.5 cm mesh size a strong cord or uh, wire is attached to the apex of the cone or umbrella and a number of uh, lead or iron cylindrical sinkers iron cylindrical sinkers are attached fixed all along the circular periphery these are the sinkers which have the weight circular pockets are also made at the periphery by folding the net inwards to about 6 to 7 meshes in depth it is very popular net it is a small gear with a string it can be operated by single man it is cast by the sweep of the arm it is the most common fishing gear operated through the entire river course almost each angler owns a cast net to exploit prawns and small fishes few units with bigger mesh of about 15 to 20 cm exploit large carps cast nets are used for capturing fresh water fishes usually so this is the cast net they throw like this with the sweep of arm and coming to the basket traps so these traps are uh, placed at a particular place in the water body constantly uh, since the path of movement is closed by operating their baskets trap the fish try to pass through the trap and get captured these traps are commonly used in small irrigation sand channels in agriculture lands and lakes for capture of fish each basket trap is pyramidal or square shaped in other shape i made from split bamboo a series of basket traps are arranged in the area where the fish moves basket traps has a opening near the bottom through which fish enter into the trap but cannot escape from the uh, basket traps fish enter the trap and get captured in the trap traps are usually set in the evening in the water body and are harvested in the next day morning so they are usually uh, worked in irrigation canals the carps catfishes and morels are captured using this basket traps so these are the uh, certain some of the basket traps which are usually ca- used for the capturing of uh, carps catfishes morels in the small irrigation canals so this is the scoop net or dip net they may be Uh, these are also known as the hand nets they may be of several shapes visual triangular rectangular uh, or square shape uh, and also generally by using the scoop nets generally prawns catfishes morels are caught by this uh, kind of dip nets otherwise the scoop nets and coming to the hook and line fishing so these are the hooks and this is a line hooks and line fishing this gear is popular right from uh, rural folks to the elite class who utilize this method as a hobby during leisure time the simplest form of this gear is hand line which consists of one or more baited hooks attached at the end of the line held is a uh, line held is hand some people use a long bamboo stick at the end of which a thread and hook is tied this method is normally used by a single fisherman in small tanks and rivers for the capture of fish in the marginal areas a series of hooks are attached to a fishing line and left on the water for certain time certain time 
later the line is hauled and the fish are collected this fishing uh, here is called as the fishing line and are operated commonly by the fishermen is usually operated on coastal waters and reservoirs with or without a bite we will use uh, different kinds of um, hooks here bait holder worm zig circle weedless treble siwash octopus aberdeen and the kahli type of fishing hooks are available in the market based upon our need and necessity and come to the gill net it is a wall like net sinkers and floats are attached to it so as to keep the net straight and vertical it is operated from two boats it is made up of the multi filament gill net and is practiced on the entire river river course of the godavari it is used round the year and size ranges between 12 to 50 mm in size the uh, holes gill nets are used for the capturing of oil sardine fishes these gill nets are used for capturing of oil sardine fishes it is a drift gill net it is also used as uh, used in the use series for hilsa fishing hilsa this is a type of fish they are also called gill nets because the fish gets entangled on the mesh at the opercular region and the drift nets because the they drift vertically with the help of floats and sinkers ships or boats are used for laying them vertically like a wall gill nets may be three type they are floating type anchor type and the stake type of gill nets are available in the market coming to the fixed nets these nets are rectangular conical in shape and are often different shapes these nets are placed at a particular place in a water body and the fish that visit those areas are captured they they are fixed in the tidal regions of inshore waters during low tide with stakes floats and sinkers the high tide bring back, bring fish into the net and when the tide recedes they are trapped inside the nets stake nets which are operated in creeks that open into the sea chinese dip net which is operated in near shore areas are examples of the uh, fixed nets otherwise the stationary nets then coming to the trap nets they are stationary nets again and fishes are directed towards the enclosure through guarded entrance various indigenous or special nets are used as the traps for example fike nets and the traps etc and finally come to the gamcha it is used to capture fish span from flowing waters fish span from flowing waters like it looks like the hapa so these all are all the uh, conventional nets otherwise instruments to capture the fishes so crafts are the vehicles to move on the aquatic environment and the gears are the instruments which are used for useful for the capturing of the fishes thank you thank you one and all